The Hofburg Imperial Palace has a 700-year-long history and counting. It was for centuries the seat of power of the Habsburg dynasty right up until World War I. In 1938, Adolf Hitler delivered his notorious ceremonial speech on one of its balconies, proclaiming the annexation of Austria by Nazi Germany. Today, it is the official residence of the president of Austria. The Hofburg is much more than just a palace. It's a city within a city, a complex with 18 groups of buildings, which of course house official state rooms, but also museums, the Austrian National Library, and the Spanish Riding School. You can even visit the private apartments of Empress Sissi and Emperor Franz Josef, and the list goes on and on. Hofburg is right in the city center. Take the subway U3 to Herengasse and you're there. The earliest record of the Hofburg dates back to 1279. It was built as part of the city's fortifications. The oldest part of the Hofburg, the Swiss wing, still has the aspect of a medieval fortress. The rollers for a drawbridge chain can still be seen. The Hofburg isn't just a historical palace, but it's also a location that hosts private events and businesses still today, including some of the most well-known balls during Vienna's ball season. It has 35 rooms and halls and can hold up to 4,900 people. It's one of Vienna's largest and most unique event locations. We are currently in what is not only my personal highlight of the Hofburg, but maybe my personal highlight in the entire city as well. This is the Prunksaal in the Austrian National Library. And the library isn't only all of this gorgeous eye candy that you see here, but it also has other rooms for quiet and reading and studying in peace. And it's also home to the world's largest papyrus collection. The Hofburg is a maze tangled between history and current events with beauty and forgotten corners and ultimately it's a place to get happily lost in. And with that, I'm gonna try to find my way out now.